couple little uh, things I'd like to bring up here. CircuitPython, which is code plus community. Uh, and what am I talking about here? I am talking about our newsletter. So we have the weekly Python on microcontrollers newsletter. Uh, and here is this week's edition. There were, uh, if you're curious, how do you even sign up for this? Just head to adafruitdaily.com. Uh, put in your email address. We promise to never, ever spam you or send you anything you don't want, but you will get the newsletter and you can cancel at any time. Uh, there are a number of different newsletters you can sign up for, but this one here is Adafruit Daily um, Python on Microcontrollers newsletter. You can see them in an archive. In fact, I think if I back out one from here. Oh, no, I had, I had saved my link and pasted it. Uh, but if you just go to adafruitdaily.com, you can, you can see uh, links to the previous issues. Uh, and there's some cool stuff I wanted to point out in here. One, we got the Moo Editor version 1.2.0 has been released, and this includes uh, the new SNEC mode, which is for um, microcontrollers that are too small to use MicroPython. They can use SNEC. Uh, I've never looked at it myself, but there it is. There was also a uh, article here I thought was interesting about uh, this uh, video here, which is, I think I have the video open, in fact, right there. Uh, this is from Kevin McAleer. Sorry if I'm not getting your name right. Uh, I posted a video just showing you what it looks like when you run into this problem in Mac OS Ventura, which is the latest version. If you up, upgrade uh, your Mac to Ventura, or if you get a new Mac that happens to have that on there, there is a bug in, uh, or they've changed the way drag and drop works, and it is messing up the ability to actually flash USB microcontrollers using UF2. Uh, so this is a, a little video you can see in action there. Uh, then let's go back here to the newsletter. Uh, there was a couple different cool MIDI uh, articles here interpreting music and MIDI as a visualizer as well as uh, uh, someone who added one to their synth keyboard. Uh, and there was a really cute one on here. This is the blog post. There's also a video. Uh, this is at gurgleapps.com whatever that is. Uh, it's called Kids Hack Their Brother's Computer Using a Raspberry Pi Pico Rubber Ducky. So uh, Raspberry Pi Pico can, can act in USB HID mode, and these kids pranked their brother uh, so that it would do rubber ducky things, which if you're not familiar with that, that is, that's uh, essentially USB HID injections into a computer that's running. So it can just start typing, it can move your mouse for you, it can uh, open up things using macros. So uh, very cute um, demonstration here, a little, little prank video. Uh, of using the Raspberry Pi Pico as the rubber ducky. Uh, another one from the newsletter here was this really cool thing uh, from Pete Lomas Pie. Says they fell across an interesting idea from EDAC Europe uh, about these edge connectors. These are sort of, I think, slightly spring loaded, springy uh, metal clip edge connectors that you can use with the castellated pads on the. Pi Pico to affix it to another board. So you can make a carrier board or add it to another project using these really neat looking little uh, spring-loaded clippies here. Uh, and and uh, Pete went on to find uh, an example of them at Farnell. So that's pretty cool. I like that idea of, uh, of a little alternative, a sort of flat alternative to pins and a breadboard. Uh, and on and on. So go and check out the uh, Python on Microcontrollers newsletter and get that in your mailbox if you want to uh, see great Circuit Python and, and other Python, MicroPython, Python, Python types of news every week. Uh,